Okay, I'm just going to go over real quick. Um, um, taking off uh, the hub off my trailer here for my boat trailer just to make sure uh, the bearings look good for a, a long journey down to the Keys. So I'm, I've already taken the tire off, just used the jack that was in the in my truck, jacked it up, and I'm going to start uh, disassembling the hub. So I basically just, the bearing buddy, I've kind of got half off already, but you basically just turn rotate and the bearing buddy comes off like that. And then um, I already straightened out the cotter pin on the castle nut here, so basically just straighten it out first. And for time's sake, I just already straightened it out. Pull that out and just turn the castle nut uh, guard here. This one's got a little guard that goes over the nut that keeps the, uh, the nut from turning. As you can see this little thing that goes over top of that that keeps that from happening. Just a little thing that goes over top of it. And that goes over top of this nut, which keeps the nut from backing off. So just take both of those off, keep putting that stuff in a clean spot. I'm starting to pull off the hub itself. A little flat washer will come off first. And then the outer bearing will come off here. Okay, so here's the outer bearing. Put that down, that's some clean. So we got the hub off. So we got the hub, got the outer uh, inner seal here, the inner bearing. And um, we've got the uh, the uh, spindle. So I'm just going to clean that spindle off a little bit real quick here. Get a good look at what the spindle is all about here. So I got the spindle all cleaned up. So you can see where I'm going right here. So what I'm going to do eventually do is I'm going to go and I'm going to clean this whole spindle up real nice and neat. I'm going going here. I'm going to clean out. Um, all the grease that's in here make sure my uh, my uh, outer race and my inner race are clean I'm gonna have to pull this um, seal off and uh, to get to uh, the inner bearing in here and uh, replace the seal uh, when you take these seals off the only way it seems to be able to get them off is to to destroy them when you do it so I'll, I'll put a new seal on there and then um, clean that all up put some new grease in it and uh, reinstalled on the spindle so uh, I'll come back in a few minutes okay I'm just going in here removing this uh, the seal like I said the only way to get it out is to get underneath it and then try and prop it out there we go okay and that's it that seals out so I got the seal out you can see we destroyed it getting the seal out of there so um, that's removing the seal now we can get to the um, inner bearing we'll clean that all up and uh, we'll get all this uh, grease all out of here all cleaned up we've got all this grease in here cleaned up and then um, you know we'll inspect both of the uh, races and we'll come back okay and as you can see I've got the um, got the bearings all cleaned out of grease and stuff like that so there you can Inspect the uh, the outer race, and you can see it's all nice and clean. There's no discoloration. You feel it with your finger there to see if there's any edges or or anything that catches there. This one looks really nice and smooth. And then again, we've taken off the uh, the seal so we can get to this uh, inner race. And the inner race again looks looks really nice and clean. I'll try to back it up here so you can see a little better. And um, you can see in there real good. But I cleaned it all that old grease out of there so that we're gonna pack it with some new grease. Get it all nice and uh, looking good again. But again, you know, just looking for discoloration, wear marks on the race, and this one looks good, so I don't really see any any problem there. Looks good. Okay, the only other thing we're going to take a look at is uh, I cleaned up the bearings here real good, checking to make sure there's no discoloration on the bearings, the inside of the bearing, make sure there hasn't been any heat discoloration over time feels good that's the uh, inner bearing here's the outer bearing same thing just check it to make sure that um, it looks good no discoloration on either side clean those out we're gonna repack them and put it back on now if you want to measure what your spindle is um, you have the inner spindle and the outer spindle 
so you can just put the measure on here and this one comes out to see if you can see that or not one and three eighths so so I got a one and one sixteenth and one and three eighths um, inner spindle so that's the measurement for the bearings from what I understand and as far as the depth of the hub yes yeah, so you just measure from like this and this particular one it measured out to um, four and an eighth which is the size of the hub for replacing the hub so it's four and a half four and an eighth deep okay well I've got the uh, the hub out here I have uh, packed repacked bearings here got those all nice and cleaned and packed I actually ended up replacing the bearings actually because I noticed when I was going through some of these there was some wear and um, once I took out the grease I didn't like the way they sounded and I had an extra pair of bearings so I just decided to get a new pair of bearings and I had packed those up nice with some nice grease and I packed the uh, inner bearing here and I've set it in the race ready right, to put in the uh, seal so I put a little light coat of grease on the inside of where the seal is going to go I put a little grease on the outside of the seal help it slip in nice and easy I'm just going to line it up there and I'm going to tap it in here. Okay, I got the I got the uh, seal started. Looks good. Looks like it's all the way down. I think I that seal all the way in. Okay, got that all nice and greased up. I reinstall the hub with the seal on it. Slip that over there. My outer bearing. Slip that back in there. Slip that in there. Okay, now we're going to have to put it on flat washer. Nut. Okay, so I'm just going to run this down until it's tight. Tight, make sure I'm not snug. Tighten it, loosen it a little bit. Back it off to where it feels. It feels good. And that's it right there. Just got to put on my tassel nut holder. Put the pin through. Bend that pin up. And Okay, I just bent, rebent the cotter pin here so the cotter pin can't come out. Get that all bent down there. Yeah. Crank it up just a little bit more. Okay, that's not going anywhere. And we're, we're done. All we gotta do is put the bearing, clean the bearing buddy up, put the bearing buddy back on there, and we're good to go. Okay, now we got that all cleaned up. We're gonna tap the bearing buddy back on there. back on okay now I'm just going to um, use my little uh, grease pumper here I'm gonna pump grease back into here so I'm just gonna click on my grease pumper here should there we go it's on there just start pumping that grease you can see this one out. you can see how the You'll see this start to push back after I start to really pack that grease in there. That's all the grease I want to put in there for now. Put on our little cap here. And we're good to go. Done.